First tonight at 11, families are speaking out about service dogs they bought to help their kids who have autism. They each say they spent about thousands of dollars for these dogs. And according to complaints filed with state officials and the court, the families claim the dogs were aggressive and more harmful than helpful. The owner denies the allegations. Our Shelby Danielson is on your side investigating. We'll take a look at this picture. This is a photo of a service dog a local family bought from the North Carolina company in question, Rycon Service Dogs. The family believes the dog was not trained as promised. And according to this veterinarian report, the dog had not been eating much for well over a month when they took ownership. When I picked her up, she was a skinny, skittish, mess. Rebecca Peluso says she spent about 10 grand on their service dog named Puzzle. My daughter with autism has high anxiety, stems a lot and runs. So we thought a service dog might help curb some of those behaviors. She found Rikon service dogs online last summer. The website claimed the dogs would help those with sensory issues cope in public settings. There was nothing negative, nothing on the BBB for them. She says she put down a $3,200 deposit and then made $1,800 monthly payments. She was supposed to pay about 14 grand total, but then she received this letter from the company's owner, Mark Mathis. He's shutting down, come get your dogs. And my dog was shy of two, three months of being totally trained. Mathis announced he was closing up shop. She found out days later in November that he'd filed for bankruptcy. We brought her home. She chased stray cats in the neighborhood. Luso gave First Coast News this home video showing their service dog's behavior at one point when they brought her home. She went after our dog. Luso filed a complaint with the Attorney General in North Carolina, who has since launched an investigation after receiving 40 other complaints about the company from multiple states. Every family should get a full refund. The AG's office tells us, quote, Attorney General Josh Stein is very concerned about the allegations he's heard about Rikon and is looking into this business. It's terrifying for anyone, let alone someone who's already so taxed, being a special needs family. Rachel Cummings is also a mother of a daughter with autism. She filed this lawsuit against Mathis and his company. Did any of what he was promising actually happen? Absolutely not. No. In her lawsuit, she says their service dog named Okami was aggressive and immediately attacked the Cummings' other dog. She says her young daughter was left traumatized. Went from a sunshine, happy little girl to someone who would barely talk or eat. Cummings sued Mathis, citing fraud, negligence, and breach of contract, among other things. Mathis denies those allegations in his response to the lawsuit. Mr. Mathis, this is Shelby Danielson with First Coast News. First Coast News reached out to him several times via phone and email, but he has not responded. Mathis did settle with one family, According to court documents, a judge ordered him to pay $7,000 to another couple for breach of contract. The Better Business Bureau in North Carolina lists Rikon service dogs as under review on their website, so it doesn't have a rating right now. BBB officials tell us, quote, we put companies on an updating status for a variety of reasons, including a spike in consumer inquiries. As for that investigation, it continues by the state. For First Coast News, I'm Shelby Danielson on your side.